Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Scottish Lord and today we are playing something new on the channel called Train Sim World, a game I recently just bought and something that I'm very, very excited to get into, as you can tell by the expression in my voice. Yes, wow, god. I, I do not sound enthusiastic in the slightest, do I? Uh, well, I honestly am. Alright, so look, we have to create a profile pe pe of. Ugh, I can't speak. We need to create a profile first. This guy looks confident, so I'll choose him. And I'm going to call this guy Alexander Royal. And today, I think we're going to go for the Great Western Express. Why? Because Britain. Yeah. So we're going to go through all the tutorials today, we're going to go through the- oh, oh, okay, music, music. Very, very intense music today. So we're going to do the class 43 introduction, we're going to do the class 166 introduction, the class 66 introduction, and station stopping. So let's start off with the class 43. Here we go. Welcome to Great Western Express. Hello. This is the class 43 high speed train in Great Western Railway livery. Great work on being accepted as a driver for GWR. Thanks, Lord. We're going to learn how to take control of this iconic train, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Okay. Can I move? Start by climbing aboard the locomotive. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Okay. Before we do anything, this game's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, this is. This is a really well polished game. You could mistake that for a photograph, to be honest. Right, let's uh, climb aboard. God, it's huge. Take a look around, and when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. Okay, I've got a keypad here, don't know what that does. Ear protection. Wear your ear protectors in the engine room only. Do not wear ear protectors in the driving compartment. Don't intend on it. Right, let's take a seat. Precision control. Click the right click. Oh, oh, okay. You need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. So already there's a big difference between um, London Underground Simulator not London Underground Sim, Train Simulator 2018 and Train Sim World. You're actually interacting Set with your cab. Right, okay. Oh god, there's a beep. What's beeping? Gauge? No. Alright. Yeah, I thought so. Oh. Oh, hello. Right, oh love. But yeah, you're actually interacting with your environment, like London Underground Simulator or World of Subway 3. Things start to get a little more complicated from here. Oh so dear. We'll take it step by step. Set the headlights to day headlamp and markers. Is that that? Yes. Put the train in forwards, so we're ready to get moving. Okay. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. Are we moving yet, or...? No. No, we need throttle, don't we? Wait, the brakes are currently charging. Okay. What are they charging? Can I move this? I don't think I was meant to do that. Oops. Still, you actually interact with your environment in this one, which I'm very happy about. That's one thing I didn't like about Train Simulator 2018. It, you, you were just pushing buttons on the keyboard, but now it actually feels like you're doing something like you're actually driving the train, a lot like an underground simulator, which was very immersive. 
and already I'm feeling quite immersed in this. So the only thing is, it's um, it, I don't even, I don't think it's laggy actually. I think it's just my mouse. <laughs> How long does it take for some brakes to charge? Honestly, it doesn't take that long. Hey there. Now apply some power and get this train moving. Ease the throttle handle into notch one. Right, throttle. You down here. Oh, we're moving. Camera view, select one, two, eight. Oh, hello. Well, that's screenshot material. Look at that. It's flipping amazing, this. This is made in the Unreal Engine 4. I do not trust my driving skills. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gradual stop. Right. Initial. Okay. Initial. This is a very gradual stop. Can I get up again? No. Can I push buttons? Yes. What's this? Drive by buzzer. Okay. Emergency brake. Best not touch that. Wonderful. Well, that was easy. Objective complete. Wonderful. So at the end of that, took 5 minutes 87 seconds, we drove 293.55 yards, we walked 134.99 yards, we got a total of 5,600 train sim world coin. That's what I'm calling it. By the way, next one should be the class 166 introduction, so let's get on with that by clicking next tutorial. Class 166 introduction. Here we go. Oh, hello. I can move this time. Wonderful. Hope we don't get thousands. Because that could be interesting on the frame rates. I mean, I'm not on full... Um, graphic settings but I'd love to be able to play them on full graphic settings because this is beautiful I'd love to see what it's like at its maximum potential also if anyone wonders about my mouse it's uh, probably running out of battery I'd reckon <laughs> I should probably fix that soon Here we go let's get into the cab how's this door open right so that slides that doesn't I'm ready. It's a lot more compact, this one. All the buttons are here. And, oh, oh, hello. There's loads of stuff up here. Hmm, this seems familiar. Oh, AWS. Hello. Yeah, can you let me push the button now? Okay, this is new. Oh, that's full service. Got it. When you're ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Wonderful. Now, set the headlights today. Doesn't sound like anything's going on. There's a gauge moving. Oh, that's tail. Day. Put the train in forwards so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again. Okay. Here we go. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly 
there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle, brake handle into notch one. Okay, we're well, already moving, love. It's a bit of an issue, that. Oh, notch one, notch one. Also, I still can't hear the actual engines. Really weird. By the way, we're moving. I think these are all realistic to how the trains actually are. So I think, I think this would be realistic to a class 166. I'm starting to hear the engines a bit now. Can we move it up? Yes. Just trying to get to 10, a bit quicker please. You're performing great and showing real confidence. All you need to do now is bring this unit to a gradual stop. Set the what is with you giving gradual stop? Okay, breaking one. This is all pretty easy so far. I think the class 66 is going to be the same. You're ready to head out there on your own now. If you remember everything I've shown you here, you will do just fine. Great. So at the end of that one, we took 4 minutes 7 seconds, we drove 231.48 yards, walked 179.27 yards and got a grand total of 5600 TSW coin. Right, we should go into the next tutorial now which I think should be the class 66. If it's not it's station stopping, so place your bets, which one is it? I think it's going to be station stopping. I think it's going to be weird and do that. Right, let's get on with it. Station stopping. I was right. Here we go. I know how to drive one of these now. It is. Also, you sound like you need your bed, love. Okay, love. Here we go. Forward. Oh, AWS didn't go off. Interesting. So, can we go a bit faster now? Wonderful, thank you. Not a gradual stop, just a stop. Right, okay then. Up to five. Much faster. Five mile now. This looks. This is a really good game. These graphics are beautiful. Love to know who designed the trees because they're very realistic. Well, here we go. We're getting up towards the forty now. Can I shift anything on my own? Nope. 40. No, I can't set it to idle. Here we go. 42 miles an hour. The meaning of life. Ooh, bit of lag there. Interesting. So, are, are we just going to come to a station like this? Or actually going to get us to uh, start braking because we're only uh, 450 yards away and approaching. 
and I don't fancy crashing into any buffos today. <laughs> that does not sound like something I'd be happy to do. At all. Oh! Stations there. Oh no. But the red signal. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Yeah, okay, right. Break. Break. Breaking one. I don't know if this is going to work. Two. One. I'm honestly not sure about this. No, breaking two, breaking two. Eleven, ten, nine. Well, we overshot it a little. So look outside. This is lovely. That is screenshot material, that is. Okay, so here. Lovely. Also, I love how they've actually made it so not all the doors open at the same time. Just like a real train. Oh, hello. It's Mr. Confident again. Hello, this is lovely. Oh god, camera angle. Need to improve on that. Lovely. Closed doors. Can I go out now? No. I agree. And at the end of the pass, we've got 5 minutes 1 second on the clock, 1.5 miles driven, didn't walk anywhere, and we got 5,544 TSW coin. So, let's continue and learn about the Class 66, which should be the last tutorial of the episode. Class 66 Introduction. The final one of the episode. Oh, hello. <laughs> Shed. I will if I can move. You can move now. And now I can move. Okay, I don't get this really. How do you open a door from down here? And then climb up the ladder. Can we close the door? Wonderful. Take a look around, and when you're ready, have a seat oh, hello. In the chair. What are you doing here? You don't look too happy. Also, you look a lot more complicated, Mr. Console. Okay, can we sit down? There we go. God. Chairs aren't cleaned regularly, First, you can tell that. There's certainly a theme going on here. Now get the engine started. Set the engine run switch, generator fuel switch, and the control and fuel what? switch all to on. What were it? Are these? Here you go. Okay. Move the engine start button on the desk. Then wait for the engine to get running and set the isolation switch. To Is it the green button? It's the green... Uh, yes! It's the green button. I'm just saying it now. I think it should always be green for go, red for stop. Oh. Okay. Meaning what? Okay. Okay. Is that this? That means 
great pipe. Okay, so, so this, if I go, no, release, and wait for that thing to go to five. And let go. Okay. Right, okay, got it. This is really weird. I don't understand it. It wouldn't let me go down to three. Okay, wonderful. Release. Okay. Get moving. Turn the headlights and what? Where's that? Up here. Okay. Obviously they're up here. Why wouldn't they be up here? Why, why can't I click them properly? Come on. Put the train in forward so we're ready to get moving. Is that one of these? Set the handle into forward. No, it's this. Now you need to release the last of the brakes. The parking brake. Why are there so many brakes? <laughs> I mean, really? Okay. This has to be throttle. Yes, of course. We're moving. Wonder if we eventually get to open the window. Oh, hello. Okay, one second, let me get a screenshot. Idle. That's it. Let's bring the train to a gradual stop. Would Since you stop going gradual pipe stop? Pipe get the brake pipe control needle in front of you to around four to apply a gentle application and then let the brakes do the rest. Okay. Apply. Here we go. Great work. Oh, it must be great if you added two exclamation marks at the end. Great. Wonderful. So, at the end of the pass, we got 4.59 seconds. We got to drive 306.7 yards. We walked 21. Not nine yards, and we got a lot of XP. Oh, and 5,800 TSW coin. So, that is all the tutorials for Great Western Railway, or Great Western Express. And that is where I'm going to leave the episode. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and would like to see more of this, because... I'd quite like to have this as the new London Underground Simulator. Um, when I say that, I mean as in one of the new regular um, uploads. Because this is its a really immersive game. I really enjoy playing it. I really hope you enjoy watching it. So I'd really love to do more of it. So yeah, just let me know. I might leave a poll. So, thank you for watching. If you really liked the episode, then give it a like. And if you enjoy my content, be sure to subscribe.